Hello, in this video I will demonstrate a new tool I'm currently working on, which is called Export, which allows you to batch export the files using Solverse eDrawings. This means that you do not need to use Solverse to publish some of the Solverse files, and you can use a free version of eDrawings to do that. Export is a part of Cat Plus Community Edition free and open source application. Here are some Solverse files, assemblies and drawings we want to export. After installation of the CAD Plus toolset, you will be able to find the export application in the Start menu. So let's start the application now. In the first section of the software, we can add the files and folders we want to export. So let's start by adding a simple drawing file into our scope. You can specify some additional parameters, such as filter if you select the folder, and also the formats you want to output your files to. You can select multiple formats, so for example let's generate three files out of this input drawing. You can also browse the output directory or you can just copy paste the path directly. You can also check the option to output the files in the same directory as the initial files. So click export and you can see the progress and some logs output into the window. Application will show the message box under operation completed or failed. Now we can look at our output. So here we have an HTML file, which you can open in your browser. We also have PDF and image. Let's remove this output and continue our demo. So as a next step, I want to show you how to export the full folder of files instead of a single file. So I need to click an Add Folder button and select the folder which I want to export. You can add multiple folders if you wish. So let me add this subfolder to my export list. And I can delete the previous file. I want to modify my formats and only export to HTML. I have some additional options if I want to customize it. So for example, Continuum Error option allows us to continue execution if one of the files fail to process. Otherwise, the tool will terminate immediately when that happens. So now export is completed and we can look at the output. So let's open one of the files to make sure that the result is correct. So this one is an HTML of one of our solar parts. One of the main benefits of this tool is it is using eDrawings to make an export which means that you do not need to utilize a Solver's license if you want to do that type of job. In particular, you can use that application as a part of your automation workflow. But of course, you will not want any user interactions to be considered as a part of your automation workflow. You would want to run that process automatically in the background by supplying the parameters. Fortunately, export supports command line, which means that you can trigger the job using the script. Now let me show you how to do that. Firstly, we need to find the path to the export executable. You can just navigate to your installation folder of CAT Plus toolset, or you can extract that location from the shortcut. Now we can just start the command prompt and explore the parameters provided by the tool. So we just need to specify the path to executable and click double dash help to see all the available arguments. So you can see that pretty much matches the options you have in the user interface. Let's start by specifying the input. For that I need to use an I parameter and specify the input file or folder. I can simply drag and drop the folder into my command prompt. Let's continue and specify the filter. So as my folder contains some extra files such as images, I want to exclude that from my search. So for that I'm just going to specify the star.sld star to only process solver's files. In a similar way I can specify the format of output. In this case I'm just going to use HTML. I will also specify error and timeout parameters to make sure that my job will continue regardless of an error in the exporting process. As you can see there may be some pop-up warnings coming up from eDrawings. An export will automatically suppress those messages making sure that your process will continue. We can track the progress of the operation by the logs output into the console. 
We can also see that our HTML files are being added to our input folder. The files are being published to the same input folder as I haven't specified the optional parameter for the output directory. Now process is complete and we can just look at a few files to make sure that the export has been successful. Please follow the link in the description of this video for extraction for getting the free copy of this tool. Thank you for your time.